question came up, well, why is it not the reality for black women? I know y'all not going to like what I got to say, but you know me, I'm going to say it anyways. First and foremost, black women are above reproach. If it don't validate us or excuse our bad behavior, yep. we don't want to hear it. Okay. Instead, we'll say, well, men do it too. Secondly, we'll find every excuse in the world to validate why we don't want to be married or why we don't want to be in a relationship. Well, they get cheated on. Well, they do this. Well, they do that. But then we have all these standards for men. We interrupt this program to prescribe you with a thousand milligrams of red vitamins. Right here, right here, right now, right now. It's the right time, right time, right time. It's the right time, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. Right now. Tell the whole pie down, pie down, pie down. What's good, Shadow Realm? It's your boy Reclaim Your Throne coming at you with another crazy video. But first, my goal is to get to 10,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So make sure you go ahead and like, comment, share, subscribe. And you already know Reclaim Your Throne. Alright guys, so this video is actually going viral and this is actually the second version of a video like this that I have seen before and it's pretty much a video of white women who have gotten engaged during their college years which is pretty much how you want things to go, okay? As a woman, you want to get engaged coming out of college so that the distractions of employment and applying for jobs and all that kind of stuff doesn't get in the way of your chances for eternal love. <clears throat> now, black women in particular are extremely and specifically triggered about this video. And the reason why is because they don't understand why white women are able to get married, uh, you know, during graduation. And black women kind of put that off, okay? They put the marriage off. And... The reason why is because, let's keep it a buck, if you've ever been to a university, for one, especially a university like this, but even at HBCUs, black women aren't getting married coming out of college. They wait too long, and that's because they are indoctrinated with the the um, the strong independent mindset, and uh, you know some of them even get pregnant in college, and they still don't marry the man that impregnated them. And the, and the reality is when black women are in college, they're not really dating their peers unless they're able to get an athlete. But we know that most college athletes are dealing with Beckys, okay? Most college athletes are going to be milkmen. Well, I'm not going to say most of them, but the most desirable ones are going to be milkmen. They're going to be dating Beckys because they're just easier to get along with. And that's just the reality. Now, white men might say, no, they're not. They're not easy to get when it comes to black male, white female relationships, it's easier to get submission from that white woman if you are a black male. Um, whereas if you are a white guy, she's probably going to play with you a little bit more than she would a black guy. That's just the reality. Um, that's my personal experience in speaking for other black men who, um, you know, have and, you know, date IR. That's just the reality of the situation. So you see a lot of uh, sisters who, for one, when they are on campus, they, for one, they don't approach black men like that, all right? They, um, a lot of them might stick their nose up at the athletes because they think they're better than these guys. And these guys, especially nowadays, are, are getting money, NIL deals, all this stuff. And, and the women, they still think that they're better than these guys and the guys have to come and approach them. No, when you are, and for the all intents and purposes, you know, when you're a contextual alpha, I'm not going to call them high value men because we know that athletes and rappers can't be high value men because they don't express any business acumen to gain their financial wealth. Um, but when you are a contextual alpha, like a, like athletes on campuses or frat boys on campuses, the reality is the women have to approach you, right? Because you are desirable to most of the women on campus. 
So, but black women have not picked up on this. They don't understand this concept. So they're wondering why when they go to the club, the athletes and the 6'5 basketball players and and the, the star quarterback, the scrambling black quarterback isn't approaching them because the white women already came up to him. OK, so and, and, and white women are like that with white men as well. Okay? They're with that with people that they want. They put themselves in a position to speak, approach and, and what not, right? And this is Texas A&M, and they've got some athletes on that football team. Uh, and I know they were going through some struggles this college season, but they will bounce back. And Texas A&M, Texas A&M has uh, one of the largest uh, alumni funds in the country. They have one of the, uh, you know, most, uh, the, the, they have one of the richest booster clubs in the country. So there's a lot of old money coming into Texas A&M, supporting that football program and all their athletic programs. So, you know, I think that if black women don't really, I mean, and you've seen the, the sister with the micro, she was looking at the white girl raising her um, ring finger and it looked like there was a little shade. But guys, <laughs> if black women do not wake up, then they are going to end up being very, very single. Okay, and you know, they're gonna say they, they don't mind, they love being single, they'd rather be single than to put up with a man. That's fine, but just don't be upset that other groups of women are getting married to your men when y'all are out here not caring, dropping the ball, acting like you too high and mighty to approach a man who, you know, has way more contextual status than you do. And that's really what's going on on these college campuses. There are plenty of black men you know, to choose from on these college campuses. But a lot of the times the sisters are trying to deal with the thug max alpha simps, the local ninjas. All right. They're dealing with the local ninjas. They're dealing with the thug max alpha simps and they don't want an educated lame, right? Because they will even tell you, man, y'all athletes be corny. Y'all dudes be corny. And the reason why they say they're corny is because athletes in, in many cases, especially the very talented ones who get uh, full ride scholarships. Now you have some that are hood and all this kind of stuff, but the reality is that athletes, they, they, they actually get to be who they really are, right? They don't have to try and act hood and, and act like they super hard and stuff like that. They can actually be who they really are because people like them for their athletic ability and achievements, not necessarily because, you know, they, they the hoodest ninja in the streets and, and you know what I'm saying, everybody's scared of them. So athletes are able to be who they really are. And if you are a black man and you're, you know, if you speak proper, if you ain't got, you know what I'm saying, the thug, max, alpha, scent, swag, and shit like that, like a lot of black women are going to overlook you. So these athletes, they don't have the thug, max, alpha, scent, swag. Some of them might be more preppy. Some of them might be considered corny to black women and and what corny really means is he don't talk like this and he ain't like a hood nigga and shit like that and he don't really like step on shit and stand on being it like this so like on some real shit like if he's not moving like that then a lot of the sisters gonna say oh well he corny anyway so don't get mad when these corny anyway niggas are dating outside of the race and marrying these women um, at higher rates because we all know that college educated black men one third of college educated black men um, you know are dating IR all right guys so now we have a woman I guess her name is Paradise Paris and she explains why white women get married faster and at higher rates than black women who attend universities and in general and I, I guarantee she's probably not going to be right <laughs> engaged and the question came up well why is it not the reality for black women i know y'all not gonna like what i gotta say but you know me i'm gonna say it anyways first and foremost black women are above reproach if it don't validate us or excuse our bad behavior yep. we don't want to hear it okay. instead we'll say well men do it too secondly we'll find every excuse in the world to validate why we don't want to be married or why we don't want to be in a relationship well they get cheated on well they do this well they do that but then we have all these standards for men and we're still actively seeking for men in the midst of our hurt while inadvertently telling them to go to therapy we do not practice what we preach thirdly the independent woman is a myth yep. actually cared about being independent and it was something that made you happy you would not have all these standards to negate your independence nobody wants to relinquish power find every excuse in the world to not be submissive and wonder why white women can get away with their bad behavior we take everything bad from white women except for the fact using marriage to our own benefit 
But you will run to the child support office, though. Get mm -hmm. equality against men of a group of white girls who are sitting at their graduation engaged. And the question came up, well, why is it not the reality for black women? I know y'all not going to like what I got to say, but you know me, I'm going to say it anyways. First and foremost, black women are above reproach. So let's go. Let's let's move on. Sometimes we actually want to be equal to men is when it comes to degenerate behavior, hypersexuality, abusing or abandoning children. Yep. Even when it comes to the gold digger conversation, what you don't see those other women do, even when they are just screwing men for money, is bashing men and inadvertently making men feel like they're not important. Also, too, telling them that they don't need men. Psychologically, we have been taught to disassociate ourselves. And even in that Malcolm X quote where he says the black woman is the most disrespected, he also says to be near your man. Because who taught you to hate the very race that you're supposed to be with so um i i like that take i like everything that she said there okay it was spot on it was un, on point one of the things that she i i feel like she could have um expounded upon more is the baby mama culture and dating thug max alpha sims i'm telling you guys right now that the reason why black women aren't getting married is because for one they don't really want to be married right if a good man uh, proposed to a black woman and she's between the ages of 18 and 25 which is the most desirable age range for all men not just you know men in their 20s or whatnot but all men if a good man proposed to a black woman between the ages of 18 and 25 everybody in her family is going to say you too young you need to have your fun da -da 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 -da. all that kind of stuff tell me i'm lying it's true so we're not just gonna sit up here and act like these women you know haven't had opportunities to get married they have plenty of opportunities to get married the men who are good men the friend zone guys the guys who are you know a shoulder to cry on when they get pumped and dumped by the thug max alpha simp pookie and ray ray these guys tried to marry them they tried to get in a relationship i i i remember specifically when i was younger and I was in a relationship with a sister and I did want to get married to her. But the thing is, she was not ready, right? What did she say? Oh, well, you know, I'm too young. I just feel like I'm too young. Like, are we really supposed to get married this young? Like, you want to have your fun too? I want to have my fun. I'm telling you right now, more men have the idealistic love and want to get married than, than women, especially in the black community. And that's facts. Because if you try and put a ring on a on a, a, a woman, uh, especially a black woman who is between the age of 18 and 25, she's going to deny the proposal. Facts. And don't, and don't, you know, don't act like I'm just making things up. The reality is that when you see uh, even Chloe Bailey, oh my God, she, she's so young. Why her career? Da, 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 da. Y'all see it. And then y'all, y'all just blatantly deny it in the comment section. They're going to get in the comment section. And be like, This ain't true. You hate your mama. Da, 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 da. Well, my mom married young, so it, it's it's hilarious how they try and paint these pictures, but the reason why my parents stayed together is because they married young, right? When you wait and you put it off and you rack up a body count, your your pro the probability of you staying in the marriage long term diminishes by every single body that you get as a female. But they don't understand the math, they don't understand the data, they don't understand the life choices that lead them to being 40, single, buying a dog, and dying alone, as Kevin Samuel said. You know, don't shoot the messenger, you feel me? Like, it's some baby mamas out here I really fuck with, and some of y'all not slow. But most of you hoes make this baby mama shit look dumb. Like, every hoe I know that's a baby mama is a dumb bitch. Like, bitches be real deal dumb. It's like becoming a baby mama or the baby mama title make a bitch retarded. Cause you all be around here slow and that's why I can't go like that. When they honey who? You know. So, Glorilla pretty much, and I wanted to play this video cause she pretty much topped it off. And she's just straight up calling the baby mamas dumb. And a lot of them are dumb. A lot of them are, you know, they, they're, they're wondering why they're a baby mama. They're wondering why the man didn't stay around, but they're masculine. They're disrespectful. They have a, a horrible mouth. Okay. They're, they, they're not forgiving. They don't extend grace to their men. They, they, you know, they're, they're, they're mean, they're nasty. They curse. They, 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 you know, drink when, uh, the child is in the womb, like Chris on rock. They do drugs when the child is in the womb. Nobody wants to make you the mother of their child when you are an unhinged, you know, want to be party girl who thinks that you can put off marriage and commitment for your whole life. Okay. And, 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 
you know, Glorilla, she's not the brightest thing, but at least she can come to the conclusion, the smart conclusion that, hey, maybe some of these baby mamas are just idiots, right? So, um, shout out to Glorilla, even though she's a dumbass too, she didn't even know what a fox was or looked like, um, but <laughs> obviously she's from Memphis, so we can't really expect much out of her, but that's neither here nor there. You already know what it is, it's your boy Reclaim Your Throne, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, see in relationship, because see the email down below with a stream job of your catch up, so no you pay no ties, man, y'all need to be in my freaking game with the BS, you already know. Reclaim your throne. Want to become an elite level athlete? Well, look no further. The Reclaim Your Throne Elite D1 training course is all you need to take your performance from subpar to the creme de la creme of athletes all around the world. The purpose of this course is to give you a comprehensive weight training, speed, flexibility, recovery, and endurance program that is meant to prepare young athletes for collegiate and professional sports. This course is packed with over two hours of creative, action-packed lifts narrated and coached by yours truly to assure increased strength, speed, flexibility, recovery, and endurance. Hey, I get it. Training alone can be tough and can even make you feel misguided or somewhat unmotivated. But with this course, I walk you step by step through each and every lift to make sure you're using the proper form to prevent injuries and that you're hitting the correct muscle groups to render maximum results. So what are you waiting for? It's now or never. So go ahead and get the training course today so you too can reclaim your throne.